Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. Welcome if you're new and welcome back. I am so excited for today's video. I am gonna be sharing with you guys a Dollar Tree fall haul. So this is gonna be episode number one on my I Love Fall series. Now everybody that loves summer, do not panic. I promise you I have done so many summer DIYs for you guys. I'm gonna link those down below. So if you guys need summer decor inspiration, budget-friendly ideas for bridal wedding, baby showers, all of that fun stuff, definitely check all of those DIYs out. In today's video, I have to share with you guys a fall Dollar Tree haul, and here is why. Trust me, I am still drinking iced coffee. It does feel a little bit like fall in my home because Mr. Romantic keeps the air conditioning so low, but I have been a crafter for years and years and years, and I really know by now, especially with Dollar Tree supplies, that if you don't grab those Dollar Tree goodies, quickly, they are going to be out of stock. I am doing a huge fall series for you all. I want to share with you guys a ton of DIYs. And if you guys missed my fall series last year, I did a huge series of fall DIYs on my channel. I'm going to link a playlist for the fall DIYs down below. I've actually been even watching some of them and giggling at some of the things that I was saying and doing, but it's so fun. Um, I love seasonal decor. I think it's just such a great way to make your home feel cozy. I mean, I am a mama, I work super hard, and every season I love to just share seasonal home decor with my family because I want to make my home this like oasis that everybody can come home and relax to and also look forward to every season and every holiday. I'm just that gal. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump into this fall Dollar Tree haul. This is gonna be episode number one of my I Love Fall series. Okay, so for my first top pick on Dollar Tree fall items, for 2019, I'm definitely going to have to say are these cute signs. They had several smaller signs out. They didn't have any of their big signs, but I did find this little thankful sign. I think this is really sweet. I love the size of it because you can pop it into any little display and look at how cute this black and white um, kind of check gingham is. I just love it. I fell in love with it. I wanted to buy a bunch of them and then realized I wasn't for sure what I was going to do with them, but I did go ahead and get this one. It says thankful and then they had another one that said gather. I think this would be perfect for um, Thanksgiving. I always host our family Thanksgiving so I was like yes let's do that. I can see myself using this in a centerpiece um, or just on a little cabinet display area. So if you guys see these check them out. Now they are kind of like a particle board. They're not a heavy duty wood sign but they're still super fun and for a dollar, super big steal. Next fun signs that I found were these three little pumpkin signs. Now these are absolutely adorable. I love this one, it's in orange. It says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. These are an amazing size if you guys do any kind of centerpieces. Um, wreaths, anything like that, these are going to be awesome. They're a really nice wood. They have this cute little raffia at the top. They do have um, glittered lettering, so if you don't care for that, um, I love that. I think it's just a nice little touch. And then I grabbed the thankful, grateful, and blessed sign. I love this black and gold. I think you could go glam with this one and um, you could also do farmhouse with this. And then the last but not least, and this one does not have the glitter. This says gather with grateful hearts. I love this beautiful. Of course, this goes along with my shabby chic home decor. So I did grab all three of these that they had out. And to be totally honest with you, I can almost see myself going back. I think these would be fun even to make like into little tags. If you guys are doing any kind of craft fairs, these would just be amazing. You could glam them up and dazzle them up in so many different ways. So I love these. Check them out. I think they would be about four to five dollars in any home decor store. So super adorable. And then the next set of signs that I found were these cute little signs. This one is meant to look kind of like that farmhouse style. It says happy harvest. It's got the little raffia tied at the top. 
Um, it's a really cute little size. Again, great for wreaths. So if you guys do a lot of that kind of things, definitely check these out. They come with a little hanger, so you could also, you know, hang them on the wall. They would be really cute, like in a coffee bar station. The Happy Harvest does have a little bit of light glitter, but it's nothing crazy. Um, and then this one says, bless the family beside us and the love between us. And this is so precious. I just fell in love with, with this one. Again, it has kind of that little farmhouse, like it's on a wood plank. Obviously, it's not a wood plank, um, but this one also comes with a hanger. So these could be hung next to each other in a little fall vignette or added to a wreath because these would be super easy to run a pipe cleaner through the back and just stick them into the wreath. So I love these as well. I also did go ahead and grab this Hello Fall sign. Um, they had these last year. I didn't grab them. They also have one that is a white pumpkin that says Welcome Friends, and I think I will go ahead and pick that one up. I just wasn't for sure that I was going like too overboard, but I do love kind of a little cutout pumpkin here. I may even paint this and kind of redo it. I love how it has the little stand on it. Now, it was a little messy with the hot glue originally that Dollar Tree um, that's the way that they did this so you might want to be careful when you're looking for these and trying to find some that doesn't have a lot of hot glue on the bottom but these are super cute for DIYs. Okay so for the next fun absolutely hands down my favorite fall decor item are pumpkins and Dollar Tree has put out so many pumpkin options. I think the lady at the store thought I was a little crazy except for she was crazy for fall too so we went perfectly together. Rhonda if you're out there watching it thank you for all of your help helping me select some of these pumpkins so my top pumpkin pick are these cute little white pumpkins these are a lovely size they have this little leaf detail at the top and they have a cute little brown stem I don't even have to paint these white you all know I have a very pastel aesthetic in my home and so I will be decorating with pastels for fall, but I will also be doing some traditional colors and even some fun shabby chic um, fall colors as well. So they have the white ones in these pumpkins. I grabbed two of those and then I went ahead and picked up an orange one because again, I am going to incorporate some traditional fall colors. If I decide that I don't like the brightness of this orange, I may tone it down. We may be doing some DIYs with that. And then they had this cute little green, and I want to say that this is more of a gourd or maybe a green pumpkin. I'm not for sure, but it just went with the whole set. These are so beautiful, and I know I've seen these at Michael's and Hobby Lobby for at least five to six dollars. So if you guys see these, I think these are going to sell out fast. They look really high end and I was super pumped to find them. So for my next round of fun Dollar Tree pumpkins, I found were these little cuties. Now these have like a highly glazed, kind of shiny glaze on them, but again, I feel like these look really high end. They have the little black tops, and they had them in this kind of muted orange, this cream color, this pinkish color, which I love. Now be careful when you're selecting them because I did find this one and it has like a little bit of a chip on the top. That may have also happened in transport. Um, I'm a little bit clumsy. <laughs> so they also had it in a turquoise. I don't decorate with turquoise for fall, but if you do, grab those because that's kind of probably a rare find. Again, I think these would be a lot more in a home decor store. I think these are beautiful. I think you can go glam with these or even mix them in with some rustic and farmhouse style. So I grabbed three of these. Um, and I just think they're beautiful. They match some of the signs. So definitely a fun find there. Comment and let me know if you guys remember if they had these out last year. And then I did go ahead and pick up one of these beautiful um, kind of more glam pumpkins. This is kind of like a rose gold color. I also bought some of these last year in a little bit um, of a bigger pumpkin size and they were the gold pumpkin, so I didn't need to pick up any of those. And then they also had um, kind of like a shiny um, orange color. So if you guys are decorating in a glam style, check those out as well. And then last but not least on my pumpkin haul, <laughs> I feel like it's like pumpkin palooza which my friend over at Annie Cuckoo had an amazing pumpkin palooza last year where everybody was doing pumpkin DIYs. So anyway, it just kind of reminds me of that with all my crazy pumpkins. Um, but I did go ahead and pick up one of these white pumpkins. This has less of a glaze on it and then like a little gold top. 
and my daughter reminded me that I did grab several of these last year so I'm glad I didn't go overboard. I believe they had the same pumpkin in an orange and also a green I want to say at Dollar Tree and then Dollar Tree also had some really kind of cool pottery looking pumpkins. I felt like I had enough here and I'm also going to do like an unboxing of all my fall decor from last year and so I didn't want to go too crazy yet. <laughs> on the mini pumpkins because I feel like this is a lot and we're going to do DIYs with them and if I feel like I need more hopefully I'll still be able to find them last minute. So for the next Dollar Tree fall find I found this really pretty kind of copper bucket. I have not seen this in my Dollar Tree. This was at the one down where my dad lives and so I went ahead and grabbed one of these. I think these are going to be beautiful to do florals in and if you guys have been following me for any time you know I love the florals. So I'm going to go through some fall florals just because I had to go ahead and pick some new ones up. I'm really anxious to see what I have left over from last year that aren't hot glued to something. Um, and we'll start out just with our regular sunflowers. So I found these really pretty kind of big oranges sunflowers. And these are the Gerber daisies. I went ahead and got these in the cream color. And then you guys can see back here in my little um, kind of summery pops of color, I have some yellow sunflowers already. So those will get mixed into these, but I didn't need more of those. Um, so I definitely had to go ahead and grab some larger sunflowerish type flowers. And look at how cute these are gonna be. I cannot wait you guys to do some fall florals especially since I'm gonna do kind of some different things than what I did last year, just to share with you guys some new ideas. Now, I remember grabbing some of these last year. I love these. These are some fall hydrangeas. So I love how on the fall hydrangeas, they've mixed in kind of this little mesh. I think it gives it some really beautiful dimension. And I went ahead and grabbed an orange and a cream color. Again, I really need to see what I have left over from last year before I go too fall floral crazy. And I'm just gonna try to make a space over here real quick. So it doesn't, hopefully I don't light any of my fall florals on fire. Okay, so a new thing that Dollar Tree had out that I was really loving were the mini pomegranates. Now, my Dollar Tree didn't have very many of these. They did have them in a couple different colors. I think they had like a deeper maroon. They had this one, but they were really kind of a little bit of a mess. And I mean that, um, that they had like a lot of hot glue on them or they were missing pomegranates from their stems. So if you guys get these, just check them. But I do think these are really beautiful for a dollar, especially just to give a little bit of dimension to your floral arrangements. So I really liked those. And then I did pick these up last year. I know I have some of these left over. I'm not sure what grade of shape they're in, but I think these um, grass with feathers, <laughs> these really add an extra touch of class, I feel like, to your arrangements. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these in the orange and one of these in the yellow. You know, we are definitely going to be doing some floral arranging. So had to have those. So I did grab two of those, but I know I do have some left over from last year. The next thing that I found, and I'm not for sure if they had these last year, if they did, I don't remember grabbing them, but I went ahead and grabbed some wheat. I think these, again, are gonna add some really beautiful dimension to your floral arrangements. I grabbed a yellow wheat and an orange wheat, and I also believe that they had a brown wheat. So I tried not to go too crazy because I feel like when I unbox my fall florals, I'm gonna be like, wow, I still have a lot of stuff. And then I also grabbed this really beautiful bittersweet. Um, it's a little plasticky looking, but I think like when you put it into a wreath, it will just give that extra bit of dimension that you might wanna see. It will just give your eye something to move over. And then I did go ahead and grab this little fall pick. I loved um, the colored berries on this one, and I thought the leaf was pretty, the pumpkin, just the whole deal is going to be great. And so that's kind of what I have going on with the flowers. Super excited, you guys, to do these. Um, that's pretty much all that they had out. Thing, I tried to grab things that I'm not for sure that I really have or that I know that I used a lot of. 
Um, and then to go along with that, I went ahead and just grabbed a willow wreath. I am going to be doing a fall wreath for you guys. I might be doing multiple wreaths, but um, I think this will be fine. And I also love to do my fall wreaths on a grapevine base, like from Walmart. So I might be doing that as well. I think Walmart has their grapevine bases for $4. They're really sturdy and they give you a lot more room to work on. So I may be doing our fall wreath on that. But I also wanted to have this option just in case. So anyway. Okay, so as far as ribbon is concerned, Dollar Tree had out their burlap ribbon. I grabbed every different fall color. There was a darker brown, a lighter brown, and orange, and then a larger burlap ribbon. This is going to be great to add texture to my bows, which you guys know I am so bow crazy. And bows are definitely fun for fall, for wreaths, for centerpieces, just for all kinds of fun fall decor. I went ahead and grabbed these because they always sell out of ribbon at my store. And then if I don't get it, I am struggling and I have to go to the larger craft stores and spend quite a bit more money. Um, and I don't use a whole lot of this burlap ribbon, but it's really beautiful just to add in some touches to give that extra fall flair and just to give your um, project some really nice dimension. And so the other thing I grabbed was some of their wired ribbon. You guys have seen me make my Olivia bows. I love using Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm also going to pick up some gingham ribbon from Hobby Lobby, but I knew that I could make some fun bows and give you guys some ideas for your creations with these. So I went ahead and grabbed the burlap with the white lace, the burlap with the black polka dots, the chevron with black, and then the white with um, burlap background polka dots. So combining these with um, and, you know maybe this orange burlap to do a really pretty um, little ribbon or big bow I think is going to be amazing. So anyway I did go ahead and pick up some raffia. I use these in my scarecrow wreaths. I actually use these in a ton of my fall displays and I'll probably pick up some more along the way but because my store did sell out last year I didn't want to be left out in the cold and I really love these different fall colors. So if you guys have a chance to go ahead and grab some of these, these are going to add some extra dimension and they're so inexpensive so I love the Dollar Tree Raffia. Another little fun Dollar Tree find are these little hay bales. I just went ahead and grabbed one of these because I think I'm going to use it possibly in a centerpiece. Um, I do have some straw actually even left over from last year so I didn't need a whole bunch and you make it a better deal actually on these like at a Hobby Lobby if you guys need a bunch of these but because I didn't need very many and it was right there I went ahead and grabbed a little straw bale um, for some of my decor. And then they did have a couple of fun little candle options. They had the old Williamsburg um, leaves candles, which I love Dollar Tree candles. They're so inexpensive. They're fun just to pop around the house to make that little small area smell good. And this one smells delicious, you guys. I'm actually simmering some cinnamon on the stove today just to kind of get me in the mood to share this haul with you guys. And then the other thing I found was this beautiful votive. I've been using the pink one in some of my summer decor and bridal DIYs. So when I saw this orange one, I just thought it would go perfectly for fall. Again, I feel like this is something that would be in a more of a high-end store. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. It's gonna spruce up any little table centerpiece or a little decor spot vignette that you might be creating. Okay, so another fun Dollar Tree find is this cute little scarecrow. I went ahead and picked him up. I actually think that my Dollar Tree has had scarecrows out year round. Um, they put out some fall at the beginning of spring. I don't know why, but this little cute scarecrow I thought was perfect to kind of go along with all of my fall goodies. And I will probably be doing a DIY with him and changing him around. And then Dollar Tree also had out this cute little harvest scarecrow. I think this is just a little decor piece, but I have a DIY in mind for this. They also had a pumpkin that, that kind of was in these colors and then some other little fall goodie. So if you guys see these, grab one. Um, we're gonna do a DIY with this. The other fun find that actually my daughter spied for me were these little chalkboard wood stakes. I just think chalkboard signs are super fun to use, especially going back to school or for any fall decor pieces. I grabbed a four piece set of these. I think these will be fun to use in a DIY. And then last but not least, I went ahead and grabbed one of the Dollar Tree fall towels. Now again, I think my Dollar Tree has had these out year round or maybe they just put them out. I love the colors on these. They're nice and bright. 
I have so many towels that I go through, um, especially with my guys who love to work on cars. I don't know if you guys ever end up finding your pretty dish towels that have been used possibly for cars. Anyway, <laughs> which is totally fine. But I went ahead and grabbed one of these fall towels. I'm also gonna check out TJ Maxx and maybe pair like a nicer towel and then um, put this underneath, you know, layer maybe a white towel, like a white fall towel over it, just have this really pretty towel underneath. We also might do some DIYs. I mean, let's get crazy, I don't know. But anyway, I went ahead and grabbed one of these fall towels. So that is going to be it for this Dollar Tree haul. Thank you for joining me and for just popping on to kind of see what this fall preview is going Going to be about. I know a lot of you all love to craft along with me and I'm thankful and blessed and honored to have you here and I know a lot of you guys have even been commenting that you're getting fall stuff in on your Dollar Tree so I just knew that I had to go ahead and grab some things to share with you guys and I cannot wait to even jump into my boxes of my fall decor from last year. I feel like it's like Christmas when I open up my decor boxes. <laughs> I love decorating and crafting so if you guys love decorating and crafting too I would love to have you subscribe and be part of my YouTube family and for everybody that comes back and watches my videos you guys I am so humbled and blessed and honored I have so many ideas coming up for you guys I even have some collabs planned um, with some different people that I love that do DIYs and so it's gonna be a fun and exciting season and so again this is episode one of my I love fall series we are gonna be doing even some Christmas in July DIYs we're gonna still be enjoying our summer I'm gonna share with you guys so many fun things. So I love you guys so much. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.